For the pomegranate trees, they're quite different compared to the other trees. And it is very difficult to pick all of these pomegranates. And also for the seeds, they're quite plump. And also you could see the weight of the pomegranate is heavier than orange or heavier than apples. So now I will try to hold one of these pomegranates. It's quite heavy indeed. So this is my first impression about the pomegranate grow in the Yecheng County. So for Yecheng County, actually it has a very long history in growing pomegranate trees. And also this industry may also bring some vitality to the local economy. So I'm glad to be joined one of the special guests. So we have Director Liao to join us. So he is a local official from the Yecheng County. So Berserk Township actually is a hometown for growing the pomegranates. So for the Berserk Township, as for the growing of the pomegranate can be dated back to Han Dynasty. And at that time, when Zhang Qing come back to Chinese mainland and also he brought some of the seeds of the pomegranate. And start from then, we are able to grow pomegranates. As you said, the growing of the pomegranate is closely associated with the Silk Road. And actually, in the past, we are able to introduce this variety of the pomegranates from the western region. And also, Kashka Prefecture is one of the earliest places to grow pomegranates. And for local farmers, they are also quite passionate in growing this fruit. In the past, we don't have such large size of plantation. In the past, for Uyghurs, they would like to grow the pomegranate trees in their own courtyard. In the about 80s, we start to have large size, large scale planting of the pomegranate. That's Right now you could see we have a very large size of land dedicated for the growing of the pomegranate. As Mr. Liao just pointed out, for the Berserk Township, it has thousands of history to grow the pomegranate trees. However, they started to grow large size of the pomegranate from 1980s. So also in the past, to see some of the local residents, they would like to grow different kinds of trees in their own courtyard. And right now, many people from Uyghur Autonomous Region, they would like to grow the trees in their house. And also, you are visiting the local market. In the past, you may see some people are selling the pomegranate. So I believe 20 or 30 years ago, when people were growing these pomegranate trees in their ho in their households, maybe after the pomegranates being ripe, and then they start to sell the pomegranates to the local people. But at that time, we don't have such kind of a industry to grow the pomegranates. I believe at that time, the price for the pomegranate is quite cheap. And not much people want to buy this because Many people growing this kind of pomegranates in their own doorstep. But right now you could see we do have a very large field to grow the trees. And just realize that for the pomegranate trees, they actually have a great number of fruits. So can you tell us some of the special timeline to grow the trees? So when we are able to find some of the fruits. So actually, the flower will begin to bloom in around May or June every year. And also, it has a very long flowers flowering season from May to July. So as I said, May, June, and July. So during these three months, this place enjoys a very long hours of sunlight. 
and the trees will absorb the sunlight. So when we are able to see some of the fruits of the trees, after the flowers falling off, and then we are able to see some of the fruits. So basically, start from June, we are able to see some of the fruits. So right at the beginning, when we see the pomegranate, for example, in late June, if we just look at the size, the size is somewhere similar as compared to the ripe pomegranate. But of course, the quality of the seed must be quite different. And also, I understand the pomegranate play a very key role in local development. And also, this place is also famous for growing the walnuts. And so right now, we are coming to the harvest season to pick all of these pomegranate. So right now, in the southern part of Xinjiang, they are right now entering into autumn. And now is the last fruit we are harvesting in local area. So many people may ask the question, for example, when we are going to a grocery store or go to a market, we may see pomegranates originated from different places. How we pick these pomegranates? So which one is the best? Can you give us more knowledge about that? So if the pomegranate is ripe, just look at this one. You could look at the color. So it is not that dark in the color. It actually, the skin will show red and also show yellow. So this is quite a skill to identify the ripe pomegranate. So when you see a red pomegranate, does that mean the pomegranate is purely ripe? That's not the case. So if the color is starting to fade off and also if the skin show brown and the red, meaning that the pomegranate is ready And also we need to find the perfect time to pick all of these pomegranates. As Mr. Liao just said, right now we are at the critical time to harvest all of these pomegranates. So we have to collect these pomegranates. So in this place, we could see there are many ladies there trying to sort out the pomegranate. So if you look at the skin, actually you could see it's quite reflecting. It's very beautiful if you look at the skin of the pomegranate. So right now we have many baskets of the pomegranate. So can you tell us how to pick the perfect one? For example, which one have a rich sweetness? So for example, this one, it already split over. So actually, when I walk through this field, I found some of the pomegranate have some cracks. So there were many reasons causing this splitting. Maybe it is because of the water or the change of the weather. All of these factors will affect the growing of the fruit. So because of the location of the Yecheng County, we have a big differences of the temperature. For example, in the afternoon hours, we feel quite hot. However, when it comes to the evening, it's quite cold. It's only 2 or 3 Celsius degree. So for this big difference of the temperature, it is also quite perfect for the growing of the pomegranate. For some of the fruits, you could see they are cracking up, so we will not sell these pomegranates. Well, we will not sell the fruit. However, we could use the pomegranate seeds to make juice. So, of course, uh, even though this will not be sold as an inact fruit, but still we could use the seeds to make juice. It still have some commercial value. So now you could see for the size of different pomegranates, they're quite different. 
and of course the price will be different. So for the large one, so we will sell about um, 20 RMB per kilogram. So for the median size of the pomegranate, the price is about uh, 15 yuan per kilogram. For smaller ones, or if they are not that ripe, the price is about 10 to 12 RMB per kilogram. So for the picking of the pomegranate, now you could see the farmers, they will wipe out some of the dirt on the skin, on the surface of the pomegranate. So when I look at all of these pomegranates, they look extremely beautiful. And also, the price will depend on the size of the pomegranate. For example, the larger ones, the price is about 20 RMB per kilogram. And if the size is smaller, and of course the price is cheaper. So every year when we come to this harvest season, I believe uh, many people will come here to find a job. So for some of the people who are picking the pomegranates, actually they are coming from nearby villages. So every day with their hard work in the picking, probably they could earn about 60 to 100 yuan per day. Also we will give them we will pay them with the number of fruits or number of working hours. So every year when we come to the harvest season, these villages, on one hand, could earn some income from the selling of the pomegranate, and on the other hand, they could also gain some neighbor fee in picking the pomegranate. And right now, we are standing next to another local official. And in this place, you could see we are displaying some of the pomegranate. So what are you doing right now? Right now, we are actually picking some of the pomegranate. And right now, we are about to host a, what we call a beauty campaign for the pomegranate. So we will try to identify uh, which pomegranate is the biggest. So this is actually a beauty context for the pomegranate. So actually, each time when I try to eat the pomegranate, I think the most difficult part for me is to peel off the skin. So any tips? So Mr. Tu will show us how to peel off the skin of the pomegranate. So first, we will use a small knife to cut off a circle. So first, I will remove the bottom part of the pomegranate. It's the second step. So they're trying to divide the pomegranate with six parts. It's just like we are cutting off the apple or watermelon. So for the journalist himself, um, he said it's difficult to peel off the skin. But actually, if you look at Mr. Tu, this is quite useful. Now you could see all the seeds are coming off. Just take a look on these rich and mellow seeds. So this is the way how local people peel off the skin of the pomegranate. So this is very useful and very convenient for us to eat the seeds. What we're going to do next, maybe right now we will try to weigh different pomegranate. 
So actually, for Yecheng County, always produce pomegranates with more seeds. And also, the taste of the seeds are quite sweet. Because in local, re local region, we have very short frozen period, and also all of these trees will enjoy long hours of sunlight. And also, we have very good resources of the water and the soil. All of these factors will help to improve the quality of the pomegranate. Once again, Mr. Tu just tell us that the pomegranate is actually being irrigated by the water from the Kunlun Shan Mountain. As for the weight of different pomegranates, it weighed about 450 grams to 800 grams. So just look at this one. Just make a guess. What is the weight? Actually, it is quite heavy. It is almost a thousand gram. In local place, they are actually selling the pomegranate by kilogram because as for the size for the pomegranate is very pomegranate is quite large, and each one of them will weigh about the five hundred gram. So for this one, it weighed five hundred and seventy gram. How do you feel about this one? Well, this one is just quite so so, and uh, we also have a bigger one or larger one of the pomegranate. So how we measure the pomegranate? Now let's check the diameter of this fruit. I think the diameter of this fruit is about 10 centimeter. And also we have another device to check the sweetness. And also we have very strange toolkit here. What is that? Before I start the live streaming, I was quite curious about this device. What is this one? I think this is made by local people. Just make a guess. Mr. Tu, can you tell us more about this device? So actually, this is the traditional juice maker. So I believe for our audience, you have different kinds of juice maker. However, for this one, it's quite conventional. So right now, Mr. Tu just put one of the pomegranate inside of the toolkit. This is the most traditional way to make juice out of the pomegranate. It is quite simple. As long as you have this device and you pick the fruit from the field, and then you're able to make pomegranate juice on your own. I would like to show you. So this is the pomegranate juice produced from Yecheng County. Actually, if you look at the color of the juice, it's quite red. Actually, it is quite natural and also very healthy. So I would like to have a sip. Very sweet. So I believe you always have the experience to buy some soda or juice from the supermarket, and some of the juice are sugar-free. So for this juice made from the local pomegranate, it feels like we are adding some sugar inside of the juice. However, we didn't add any sugar inside of the juice. This is quite natural. And also the sugar content is quite high for the local food. So now I would like to uh, check the sweetness percentage of the juice. Mm. 
Now we are checking the um, sugar degree of the pomegranate juice. So I will use the skin to dip some of the juice, and then we will check the sugar degree with this special device. Actually, I'm quite curious about the sugar degree. So for the sugar degree is 17. Actually, this is very high compared to the other fruits. So uh, we could see we have a lot of high-quality pomegranate from Yecheng County. So I have a question right now. We are all we are already develop an industry out of the pomegranates. What is the harvest season? So when we start the picking, so we start to pick the pomegranates from early October, and this will last to the end of October. So basically, we are able to collect one ton of pomegranates. So where did you sell all of these pomegranates? So actually, you could find the pomegranates from Yecheng County in different places in China. And also, we have e-commerce to help us to sell all of these pomegranates. So as Mr. Tu is raised locally, so when did you get the pomegranates? at your younger age. So when I was a kid and actually we just try to buy the pomegranate in the local market or we just get the pomegranate from our house. And in the past, it's quite cheap, less than one yuan per kilogram. But right now you could see we have already raised the price. So if we are going to sell large size pomegranates, so the price is about 20 RMB per kilogram. So according to Mr. Tu, we understand that with less than 30 years, actually the price of the pomegranate already doubled. So I believe when Mr. Tu was a kid, the price is quite cheap. It's less than 1 RMB per kilogram. But now I'm holding the pomegranate with about like 500 grand. So if we just sell like two of these pomegranates, so we're able to earn like 20 RMB. So how, how many more of field of the pomegranate? So in Yecheng County, we have about like 700 to the 800 hectares. So right now, we all understand the pomegranate is playing a key role to bring prosperity to local people. So it's quite bustling right now in the pomegranate field. We have many people picking the fruits and some ladies sorting the fruits. And also on the other side, we are seeing for some of the young people, they are trying to sell this pomegranate through e-commerce. Now you could see they are also doing the uh, live streaming. They are tasting this uh, pomegranate, and also they are trying to sell this pomegranate to other parts of China. And right now we have also produced a very solid a package in order to transport all of these pomegranates to other places safely. So actually right now we are making good use of the pomegranates and we are not wasting any of these fruits. So except for the fruit itself, we could also produce juice out of the pomegranate. So actually I could uh, hear 
the introduction from local people. So you could see they're eating and also they are doing live streaming. They're trying to uh, promote and recommend this local fruit to people from different parts of China. Right now, as you see, the transportation is getting more convenient. And also from recent years, more and more young people get to know how to use e-commerce to earn money. So in Yecheng County, they already developed an industry on the pomegranate. And also this year, we're able to see a production of one ton of pomegranates. And this food will bring the prosperity to local people. So this is the live coverage today. So we talk about the harvest and talk about the history of the pomegranates. And also I'm able to show you some of the high quality pomegranates. Once again, if you have chance, we welcome you all to pay a visit to Xinjiang and taste the pomegranates on your own. And actually, in October, for the whole month, it is suitable for you to come to Xinjiang to taste different kinds of fruit, and especially the pomegranate. Thank you very much.